Welcome to New Realities. I'm Alan Steinfeld, and this program is about the exploration of our consciousness and how that is evolving and who we are as these evolving human beings. Part of that goes back to an understanding of ancient traditions. One of the earliest influences on my development of awareness has been the teachings of Carlos Castaneda, the Toltec tradition, Nahualism. Well, today I have a guest who's from a similar tradition, Sergio Magana. Hello, Alan. Thank you for the invitation. Okay, I didn't mean to s totally associate you with Castaneda because you are similar, but people know about Toltecism and Nahualism because of those 10, 11 books that he wrote about it. The book that I wrote, The Dawn of the Six Sun, and an Italian magazine put like the new Castaneda, and they, <laughs> and they use it in the book. <laughs> so the new Castaneda. Uh, yeah, but I, that wasn't my idea, but. I think what you're really here to talk about is the techniques of dreaming, of yeah. breathing, and uh, how, that's, how that's accessible to us as human beings, right? Of course. Nahual comes from, the word really comes from a Nahuatl. Nahuatl is a language. That Nahuatl was is a language, a language, an ancient language. Yeah, uh, without the T is Nahual, the, Nahual, that is known because of Castaneda, and with a T, uh, before the L, it's Nahuatl, the, Nahuatl. the language. Nahuatl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nahuatlism. That's a very, a very old um, language that was spoken by the Olmecs, uh -huh. then the Teotihuacans, then the Xochicalcas, then the Toltecs. Mm -hmm. And for the last, for the uh, the Mexicas or Aztecs, so it's like and the Aztecs, yeah, they yeah, all yeah. spoke that language, language that language. Uh -huh. So it's like five thousand years of 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 lineage, mm. and Nahual is a word that is in Nahuatl, that is that comes from Negua. Negua means I, who I am really, the soul, the spirit, sort of. But for us, for example, there are energetic bodies. Tonal, uh -huh. Tonal comes from Tonatiuh, that is the sun. So it's wait, a wait, tonal comes from what? Tonatiuh is a word, an Nahuatl word that means the sun. The sun? Yeah, the sun. Tonal. So, so tonal means sun, basically. Uh, no, uh, tonal means who you are awake, because in the sun, in the sun yeah. kingdom. Ah, when you're awake in daylight. In daylight. Oh, so tonal is when you're uh, awake in the sun. Yeah, yeah. During the day. So, for example, now we are doing this this interview, yeah. like uh, you are in your tonal, Alan, and I am in my tonal. Even though it looks Sergio. like night out there, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> but, of course, in yeah. night, if, if, we are, if we are sleeping, if we are sleeping, we would be in the Nahual. And if we are uh, awake, we would be in the tonal. For us, these are energetic bodies. For example, your tonal is surrounding your your head when you are awake, and your nahual is surrounding your navel. When you're awake. Yeah, when you're awake. But in the moment that you fall asleep, the tonal for us pushes the nahual up, and the nahual comes here. That's why you enter in complete different reality, and the tonal stays here. At your, at your waist, at, at your navel. At, uh, yeah, at your navel, in this area, when you are fall asleep. Ah. They exchange, they ah. exchange positions. So to become a, a Nahual or a lucid dreamer would be that instead of the making this change just like this, you are able to join them and ah. to become one. That's the Nahual and the, and tonal, the tonal integrate as integrate one. Integrate as one. How do you do that? It's a huge training. For example, for for example, you must change your perception. Uh, Tell me, how do you do that? Because I am very interested in cha changing perception. For example, in the tonal, if you see our perception always goes out. I am not seeing myself now. Because mm -hmm. you're seeing out there. You're I am seeing, seeing you. Out. Yes. I am yeah. seeing you. Yes. And I'm seeing the camera and all those <laughs> things. Yes. So I cannot see myself. Right. So that's that's a huge problem, a huge task for the perception of the Nawal. Because when you fall asleep, the tonal falls asleep, then the Nawal begins watching the the dream and then that's why you you almost never appear in your dreams. Because ah. one is sleeping, the other is watching. So to force your Nawal to appear in the dreams and the tonal to 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 see the dream, that mm -hmm. would be like lucid dreaming, we start the, the training not dreaming. We start that in the mirror. Doing you start the practice of looking in the, lo the obsidian forcing mirror. Forcing yourself an obsidian mirror or in a common mirror, because this is not the, the training so of the obsidian mirror. So this is to mirror, train to, to see yourself in your dream. Yeah, but first, 
uh, you must train your perception to 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 see yourself. That's why you are in front ah. of a mirror with masks that we ah. call shayaka. Shayaka in Nahuatl is masks. Ah. So you are. Uh, it's it's a it's a very deep training because you are telling your history mm -hmm. uh, with a mask in front of the mirror for hours and hours, a lot of days. Are you recapitulating your history? Yeah, something. It's a kind of. Uh, it's named Quetzalcin in Nahuatl. That means the the great birth. Mm -hmm. So you are like telling your history, but it has like a, a a great purpose because your ego falls down. Because if you see your history with other face that is like a mask, you don't have like a, any identification between your face and between the one that lived that. Uh -huh. And that's when you are able to dream yourself in different shapes and forms. If you always dream you yourself like you, you will keep repeating the same, the same oh, history. Oh, uh, so let me see if I get what you're saying. So part of the practice of this lucid type Nagual dreaming it's it starts awake in the mirror. It starts awake. You look at yourself in a mirror with a mask on, and you tell your story as if this new face was mm. your face, and then you start to identify your form. With different forms. You start to identify with different forms. So when you show up in the dream... You can change uh, the... You can you change your you form. Can, you can change your form. And why is that important? Because for there are archetypes. For example, if you appear in the dream like a serpent, if you need a healing, and a lot of people that were sick in the, m in the moment that they appear like a serpent, they get healed. Ah. For example, if you need money, uh, you, you, you have for the tradition, the Nahual of the crocodile that is Sipactli in Nahuatl is the one that gives money. So uh, if you appear as a crocodile... Yeah, so with red eyes. <laughs> And with and red eyes. Yeah, that's that comes because, for example, we do the, the obsidian mirror training first also. So in an obsidian mirror, you must be able to, through breathings, alter your state of consciousness to be able to disappear your face, That because we are really nothing, so, so and then change the reflection. And it changes to a red eyes and then the shape that you want. And that's the base of the chakmoles that is, are Mayans or the Tetzcatzon cattle that are the ones that are like in the top of the pyramid, like like this, in the, their yeah. abs, and they are uh, turning this way and this way. Oh. You were breathing, destroying the, uh, the something, path. and then yeah, and then the dreams that created that, and then you turn into the mirror, into the water, and change your reflection, and that would be the way to go to the dreaming state. That was the most advanced technique of the ancient Mexico. Oh wait. So they would use obsidian mirrors, which is a black stone, clean, polished, polished yeah. black stone, and the chalk moles. I mean, the statues of the chalk moles would have this. It's, it's like a yoga posture because then it was so defamated because the Spanish said that the, <laughs> there were the hearts of the sacrifice, but it's not true. Oh. It is a complete posture for entering in the dreams. So for us that know how to do it, uh -huh. so you take on the position of the chalk mold. Yeah, before dream. With the, before with the mirror on your lap, or the Mayans did it with uh, water. But and for us in the Nahuatl tradition, we did it with the mirror. With the but obscenian yeah, mirror. Yeah, but it's the same. It's the because in the water you reflect. I see. So, but it's more difficult. I I, I honor the Mayans because so you've done this. Yeah, of course. I have been practicing this for years and years. But it's more difficult in water. And you teach this the uh, path of the obsidian mirror. Yeah, and the chakmo and dreaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I have dedicated my life to teach. You the have. Yeah. The What's the purpose of it all? For for us, the dream creates this reality. The dream, yeah, the Nawal this creates reality. the tonal. So this would be the um, the the dream of the dream. So so when you dream your dream, so if this is all a dream, and then you this go is the dream of the dream. So if you want to change this, you must change through dreaming. Mm. In the awake, for us, it has it everything because, uh, like I told you before, and uh, not uh, not in the interview, but before, Toltec really means yeah. uh, comes from Toli. Toli is an Nahuatl word that means the the the, the tule. The tule is it's a it's a it's a tree where it was like uh, get like an, a rover that moves, but I in a metaphorical sense, it means the measure that is moving. The, like a pattern, like a moving a pattern. Pat a pattern that is in the cosmos. A pattern in the sky. L the cosmos, a cosmos means pattern, actually. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So, 
So Toli means the measure, one, The ones that had the measure. So the Toltecs were the ones that understood the sacred numbers. The sacred numbers. And for example, for us, the number of the sun, of the awake, the tonal, would be the 13. And it's based in the rotation of the sun, because the sun equator rotates in 26 days. So if you cut it in the, because every 13 days he gives you a new phase, so that's what we call the solar wave. Wait, wait the sun rotation is 26, 26 days? days? What do you mean the sun rotation? Uh, one, one rotation of the sun, like the, uh, like the one oh, of the, the Earth. Oh, the sun itself rotates. It, the itself rotation, oh. it, it happens in 26 uh, of our days. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, so, so the sun gives you a different shape uh, every 13 days. Why was this rotation of the sun important to the Toltec? Did because for us we are solar consciousness, so oh. we respond, and the rotation of the of the poles is in twenty days of the sun poles. This if you see the poles are smaller, and yeah. then the equator is Long. is much oh, uh, it's a little uh, spread uh, out. Like yeah, 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 yeah. So it lasts twenty days in giving a, a complete round in the poles, oh. and twenty six in the in the center. So oh. for that's why for us, if you cut that in two, that would be like the two faces of the sun. Uh, mm. It will give you two sacred of our numbers, 10 and 13. How they even know that the sun rotated 26 days? I mean, uh, but science has proved that. Yeah, yeah, of course now. But that's the and that's the uh, the question of the million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> because so uh, uh, always a lot of people ask me. I don't know. Uh, it's it's a lot of mathematics. But they they could see th these energies really. And the mathematics, and the oral tradition, uh, of course, talks about cataclysms and past. Cataclysms. Yeah, and past human uh, uh, So oh. probably the wisdom comes much but for. Tell me, how old is this uh, tradition? The this the oral tradition starts uh, five sons ago, and five uh, sons are periods of six six thousand six hundred twenty five years. So wow. if we if we put five, it's like. Thirty something thousand, uh, thousand years. That's this where it's your starts. tradition. Your the tradition you come from. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Mexico, Mexico even co it's named the place of the navel of the moon, and it has a. That's what Mexico means. means yeah, uh, yeah. It comes from Nahuatl Metzli Shiktliko. All the country, almost <laughs> any Mexican knows, is named after the discipline of the Chagmolor the Tezcatlipoca. Really? Cattle, ah. Because for us, the moon is the Black Tezcatlipoca, and the Black Tezcatlipoca is the smoking mirror. So if you put the mirror here; it would be the navel of the moon. Uh huh. And all the countries named because it was a country of dreamers, but almost all that information is lost. So the place of the navel of the moon would be this discipline. I Dreaming. That's amazing. That's beautiful. So the dream, though, from what you're saying, was such a big part of the ancient Mexican culture. Yeah, all the countries is is named after that, but yeah. the people don't need, don't know it. Mexico so is the place of the navel of the moon, a land which of dreamers. Is the land of dreamers, incredible, wow. Of course. Because we are dreaming this, right? This is for us the dream of the dream. This reality is, is the, the dream, dream of, of the dream. dream. And when we're dreaming... That's the, the, the medium. Um, dreaming would be, for example, for us, the reality comes from the centeotl, um, means the one, the one energy, the beginning, like the, our equivalent for God, and for us is in the 13th heaven. We have, uh, for the tradition, 13 heavens that are like 13 steps for coming from there to here. Uh -huh. And the dreaming is in the seven. Uh -huh. So, we and we are in the, after the 13, like in the 14 step. We're right now, in this reality, yeah, we're the lowest. Yeah, we'll be like the, the 14 step. Uh -huh. So, if you see, it's perfect mathematics. The dream is just in the middle. Yeah, so, where do the Mayans fit in, as far as the, I mean, uh, this whole... Calendar uh, thing is it just the Mayans? Um, the Mayans were a little bit later of the Olmecs. The Nahuatl lineage comes from the Olmecs, and they were developing themselves. But then they joined in the in the in the last period with the Toltecs. For example, in Chichen Itza, it was a complete mix mix of oh. Mayans and Toltecs. Oh. So what we got from the Aztecs and from the later Mayans, that is the calendars that we got, got uh, now, are of the fusion of Mayans with Toltecs oh. that happened in the late period of the Mayans. Okay, so okay, so you study with 
Your teach. Tell me about your teachers. My teachers. Okay, I'm originally Catholic. You're originally Catholic. Well, I was mm -hmm. never, <laughs> but, but, but my family. Your family is Catholic, family is and Catholic. Then you knew that's what couldn't be the whole truth. No, uh, the problem, no, well, not the problem, the, uh, the advantage is that my mother worked, so I was really raised by my nanny uh. that worked there, and she was the daughter of the main otomi healer of a uh, community, indigenous community, so I, I was like the son that she didn't have, she couldn't uh. have, so she really raised me. So. I, I didn't live like a normal life when I was very, very little because instead of giving me medicine, she was using like the, to the tobacco smoking and then <laughs> blowing out the pain and all those things. Mm -hmm. Then I saw like the ex cleansing. The first time that I heard I heard about dreams was uh, from her because she told me when she was passing the egg that this is so that your bad dreams don't get truth in your reality because dreams create this reality. S so they roll the egg over your body? Yeah, oh. not the egg, but in the end, Energy. Ah, but they use an actual and egg. Yeah, an actual egg, and then they broke it in t in a glass of water, and then they began like reading. The reading the uh, uh, the, the egg yolk and the yeah. <laughs> and the egg white. And she could tell you. Tell you. I learned that. You learned that practice too. Yeah, I love that. You I do. I oh, I'd like to learn that too. <laughs> I love these those oh, things. Oh, could you teach that too? I have never taught the, uh, the egg. I'd but love to see that. But, but it's amazing. So it's like like that, and then you put it in water, and then you begin seeing like the. Yeah, the forms, the shapes, the letters, and letters actually. So yeah, sometimes they ah. they, they tell you. So you you can will tell someone's me. future or uh, yeah, or past or something like that. So you started training in that when you were really young. N not, r I never know that it was like kind of training. I was just exposed. Okay. But it was really tra a training mm -hmm. because then I was learning all these kind of things, and then I began like being fascinating for that kind of of, of wisdom. But I never thought that I was going to do this in the in life. Mm. Right. But you know, it's interesting, these two traditions you were exposed to, the Christian, the Catholic, where you're there to just listen to what someone tell you what to do, and the, the, the native tradition the, is where you actually are actively involved. Where yeah. And so did you, did you see those two polarities between of the course, two? Of course, and it was like my mother and my nanny. My mother was so strict and so <laughs> rigid, <laughs> representing the... <laughs> the the Catholic part. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not saying anyth anything no, no, against, I'm but but it was like that. And my yeah. nanny was like so lovely, so so loving, so, so in loving, touch. yeah, so so in touch. So and they were completely represent those two paths in which I grew. And so you had a choice to go in the sense yeah, at some point. Yeah, of you course. You want to go to the path where you're told what to do or the path where you can actually participate in the universe. Yeah. That's how I see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was like that. So you... And I chose the other one. <laughs> <I went. laughs> Your mother didn't like that, did she? At the beginning, no, no, no. <laughs> she respected it a lot, but they wanted me to study economy or something like that and to be in the, in the stock market <laughs> and all those things. And I no. said not. But tell me then, so you had this teacher who was your nanny, and then tell me of this, how and you evolved. And then I began like looking for teachers in Mexico. Um, so in the, in the main plaza of Mexico City, the Zocalo, that it I, uh, where the pyramids were, that they destroyed it and now they put the cathedral and all the things. Oh, oh the, 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 the Aztec mayor temple. Oh, the Aztec had a temple there, and that's they destroyed that and built the the, uh, the main cathedral, the, the cathedral, main, the big cathedral uh, in yeah, Mexico. Yeah, uh, but there are certain pyramids that survived that were like uh, down. But okay, so there are a lot of, of 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 groups that are dancers. That if you see, they they are drumming and with feathers and Sacred all those dances. things. Yeah. And and I had to learn because I w I I tried to to get involved in those groups and all those things and the groups that are in the day dancing in the day they are only for tourists I didn't know that in the beginning uh. they are asking for money and all those things they are not real keepers uh. but if you find the groups that are dancing at night uh, they they don't want money and all those things they they are keepers of, of traditions there uh. so I I try to be involved and all those things and then. Uh, I began also in uh, doing energy and uh, work and all those things. But in the first things that you get involved, uh, it's like in sweating lodges, uh, the dance, the mm. ceremonies, a little bit of Nahuatl, all these things. But after some time, I found like my main teachers. And who are they? Uh, one is named Hugo Nahui. 
U Anawi. Ugo Nawi means Ugo. four in, in Nahuatl. But four is like, uh, for us, is the main pattern in the universe that repeats the four phases of the moon, four for, for moments of the day, main moments of the day, mm -hmm. two solstices, two equinoxes, to complete so the four cycle. So four is a special number for this, yeah. for the Nahuatl. Yeah, that's why Ugo ke put himself Ugo Nawi, uh -huh. like Ugo four. And what did he teach you? Um, a lot of things, because like he, he's, he's very kind of, of sophisticated mind. But the main things that he began teaching me is was how the moon affected ourselves. That was like the ancient Mexic astrology and then dreaming. He was my first teacher of, uh, about dreaming. Your first teacher about dreaming. Let, w let's go through your teachers and let's get back to the dreaming because I think that's what I'm interested in is okay. like working in the dream state. So you, okay, so you found this one teacher, and who were your other teachers? And then he introduced me uh, to who I consider my main, main teacher, that is named Xolotl. Xolotl? Sh Xolotl uh, um, uh, belonged to a, to a lineage of dreamers that is, he is also in the other path, dream, uh, dancing, and sweating mm -hmm. lodges, and all those things, but he belonged to a, 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 um, a lineage that is named Tol. 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 Part of the Toltec. Yeah, well, uh, it comes. It's it's even before history. Uh -huh. Tol is a measure uh -huh. that it has been a lineage that has been passed from one thousand four hundred sixty-five years from master to student. Mm -hmm. And you're part of that student. Yeah, I am his student. But he has more than you. Uh, he teaches in my school also but in there's Mexico. Many apprentices besides you. Or I you the think main one? I not the main, but I think the uh, I am the only one that he has. For example, a group of dancers every mm -hmm. Saturday, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so he teaches a little bit of the tradition. But I am think I am the like the one that he teaches one to one. I see. He teaches, he teaches you one to one. Yeah. Did you, you had another teacher though? Then I had other one. I have had many, but yeah. For example, uh, Charlotte's wife. She taught me some things. Alma. And what she did she taught teach me you? She, she teach the healing through the water, uh, how, to, how, to, how to put the energy of the sun in the water and begin reading the water and all those things. Really? Like the chakmol and all those things. The healing with obsidian. Mm. Then I had other one that passed away uh, about the mirror. And then I have other so Chiquatli that she sh uh, showed me the the relationship between the Pleiades and the dreaming and how to open centers in the back because if you want to be a lucid dreamer, for example, uh, are there energetic centers that see the front that are for the tonal? But if you want, you must open the centers of the Nawal that are uh -huh. in the back. Uh -huh. So she taught me that. How do you do that? I know it's all. There practice, is like an uh, uh, initiation that you call the energy of the Pleiades to to a mount and then the air and then it passes to the hand and you begin opening that we call the caves of power that are 20 that are in the back and you've done this yeah and did that change your dreaming when that happened yeah I, I began being much more aware and I will be able to shape shift much more shape so shift what does that mean no in the, in the, in in the, the dream. dream not in the not in life reality yeah, yeah, in yeah. this dream yeah, <laughs> yeah not in this dream so you open the caves of the back or so yeah yeah but she began like to the to the um, she she was part of the feminine t uh, teachings so uh -huh. i have like mixed what ugo told me with what Charlotte told me with what Chiquautli told me to make like a complete uh, at least for me yeah. approach to the tradition you brought all these traditions together yeah I mean, you took all these different parts that seem to be separate and you're showing how they're sort of um, really part of one, one real ancient tradition about dreaming. About dreaming in Mexico. Incredible. This is great. This is such Thanks. valuable information. And that it's amazing it still survived. I don't know how. Eh? Because <laughs> it, wa no, it was so chased. Mm. So chased. Chased. I mean, uh, like in repressed. The uh, yeah. yeah. In the no, you were killed, in you the were killed. Uh, when the Spanish were there. But then after that... Uh, the indigenous thing was so in Mexico seen like low, like oh, for example, like low class, low the, class, the, and all. So, if you were so 
uh, for example, I it's incredible what happened in the country, but Nawalism, Nawal, it was like the, w the wise guy of the ancient times, and now it's an insult. You can shout someone in the, in the, you in the street. You can call someone a now? Nawal. Why? And it will be like an insult. Why? What does it mean? Like they are low, low, oh, like, like low class. Low class. Ah. It's incredible. It's like if you go to the Tibet and you say someone Lama, and it's an insult. It's so, it? uh -huh. so, no, it's, it's sad. Oh, it's yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 500 years ago, that was so, so degenerated in, in, in what it wasn't. Mm -hmm. And it's just coming out in Mexico because a lot of people think, uh, I was asking some charlatans uh, once, why was this uh, not shared before? Yes. And he said, because no one was interested. No, it, it was not that, uh, that it, it was, was a secret thing and all those things. In the, in the past years, in the, in the past century mm -hmm. at least, I, no one was really interested in the indigenous wisdom. It wasn't secret. They just no, no one, one wanted, no to, one know wanted to know it. But now people want now, to know it. Yeah, but it was there also the prophecy of the last ruler, Cuauhtémoc of the Aztec Empire. He gave like a beautiful speech one day before the yeah. Tenochtitlan fell down. Yeah. in the to the to the Spanish and uh, he said our son has hidden in in the, in the darkness but keep our treasure because it's going to come back with the sixth son and now it's the sixth son so now and and the Spanish thought that the treasure was gold and they uh. tortured him to get the where the gold Wait, was. now it's, it's the sixth son now because of the uh, December 21st date uh, it uh, has to be something like that uh, for us the sons are periods of 6,625 years mm -hmm. that are based in the Aztec calendar. If you see mm -hmm. the, the outer ring, it's mm -hmm. two serpents that, yeah. that represent the long count. The long count is uh, 24,500 years. Mm -hmm. That is more or less the, the procession of the equinoxes. If you see the serpents down, yeah. they have like the head and like, uh, like feathers, uh -huh. and they have like seven balls in the, the feathers. Yeah, uh -huh. And those are the Pleiades. So for the tradition, the sun is giving a spin around the Pleiades uh -huh. that lasts 26,500 oh, years. that's interesting. And like I, like I told you, the, the main number for us was the four. So we split the, the, the long count in, in four. And that's in the calendar. If you can see the calendar, you can see the outer uh, 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 snakes with the face of a human that is Quetzalcoatl, the, the rising serpent, uh -huh. and with seven balls. And there is then is a big ball uh -huh. that is the sun. That the sun and the face in the middle with the tongue sticking out is who? In the, it's the fi the fifth sun. That's in the middle. But I'm talking the ones that are in the outer oh, outer. The face in the middle for us, uh, everything was based in four, that you need uh, four movements to create something. Right. So, for example, four sons before, and the face in and the sun would be the tonatiu uh, that has the, the tongue out, but it's like the tech battle, the, right. the knife of justice through the world. Welcome to New Realities. I'm Alan Steinfeld. I've just been talking to Sergio Magana about the ancient Nagual Toltec knowledge and how we're here to work with these this great tradition that is a legacy for all of humanity. So when did it change into this next sun? When was that it shift? It's a little bit different uh, than the Mayan count. Yeah, tell me. For us, uh, the eclipses are like the... Uh, doorways. The, uh, yeah, yeah, the doorways, because if you see, then the moon is like the Nawal, the sun is like the Tonal, and when they're uh, aligned, it's like like the solar system is having a lucid dream, so you can uh, change the reality. So for us, the, the, the change is not like one day is the fifth sun and the sixth sun is the next one. Uh -huh. It's like in nature, that it it's can be slow. the night. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's at, at 29 p periods of transition. So, so for are we still in this transition? Yeah, for us it started, um, the fifth sun began entering, the sixth sun began entering in the kingdom of the fifth, and um, in, an, in a full eclipse of uh, sun eclipse that happened in Mexico in July of, of 1991. Ah. Then uh, they get to the same like power in 2012. They did. So 2012 yeah. was a uh, important, important time. Yeah, this yeah. December 21st. Yeah, the, 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 they went to the same power, and now uh, slowly the fifth sun is going out uh -huh. to allow the sixth sun to rule by himself, and it, this transition will finish in other eclipses that will happen in 2021.
Oh, so the 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 real beginning then of this new time. Oh, I mean, it's happening now, but it's but it's now but because also the the sixth sun now has more power than the fifth for mm -hmm. us. And the sixth sun is more of a time of spirituality. Not exactly no? a spirituality for us. Everything is based in tonal nawal, uh -huh. like I told you. So. Uh, and the suns uh, alternate themselves. So there is one son of light. Light means uh, tonal, mm -hmm. and one son of darkness. Mm -hmm. That is means the nawal. Mm -hmm. So the fifth son was a son of, of, of light, a uh -huh. son of, of the tonal. Uh -huh. And in the tonal, how is the perception? Everything is outside. So God is outside. The, 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 oh. the sons of light are very good to create religions. Medicine is outside. Mm. Uh, satisfaction is outside. All these things. And the Nawal sons are sons of darkness. When, like, you, when you close the eyes, so you must go to the inside. Oh. So that's why a lot of mm, the medicine formulas are falling down. Uh -huh. The religions, the economics, because everything goes to the inside again. So it's an internal experience. So. What will the culture look like then in the sixth sun? Uh, God goes again, again, uh, but it will be a long period of transition yeah. because but I'm talking about but thousands but what will of happen, years. You think? If you see, uh, we are very lucky because we have seen like the change, alive, yeah, and we can compare. If you, if you remember how life was twenty years ago, thirty years ago. People get, get really satisfaction in the religious answers that were outside, in having just a family, yes, success. Yes, yes. And now people that have all these things is not anymore satisfied. They need to conquest themselves, the inside, the economic formulas, the medicine. F uh, the medicine is not so effective anymore. Mm -hmm. And everyone is looking for something different. Mm -hmm. So this is really an amazing time because we are in the time of the fifth sun into the sixth sun, we're seeing the and light. And we can compare. <laughs> That's and mostly, and the suns last for you say six thousand years. Six six thousand six hundred so something. So the people then in the future won't understand where. How is a sun of light because they wouldn't have lived it. But there, but there is an evolution of a history uh, to this. So there's a lineage. So maybe there will be some see some keepers. So, but it will be a completely different world, won't it? I think so. Uh, all these things about 2012 that the world was finishing were based in the, in the Nahuatl prophecy and Mayan prophecy that said the fifth sun will finish with earthquakes. There will be a lot of suffering and everyone will die. Who, but, but it didn't happen. No, because no, it happened. But <laughs> you should know how to speak Nahuatl because a lot of Westerners went there, got that information, and then they translated to a modern, modern uh -huh. way of seeing. For us, death is change. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I it is said in the tradition that we have six deaths when we are alive. For example, conception is a death. Is a death because you stop being dead to become alive again. Uh -huh. Birth is, is other death because you stop uh -huh. being in the womb to to go out. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. poverty, uh, or puberty is is other death because you stop being a child to become a young oh, man. Puberty. puberty. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> or uh, so all those uh. things are death. So what it was meant is that this sun was going to finish with earthquakes. Earthquakes is also physically. And also that all the structures of the of the other sun are shaking. I see. And if you see in the center of that you say of the Aztec calendar, there are like the four squares that yeah. are the suns, and there are like eagle claws claws mm -hmm. in the middle. Yes. That means that between one sun and the other, the destruction of the old order happens to give up uh, to give uh, a space right. to the to the new order. Right. Right. So that, that is what is happening. That's why everything is like kind of shaking S and changing. So what is the date of this next eclipse in 2021? It's, uh, I don't have the, I don't remember it's now. So it's yeah, a, it's yeah. a major eclipse. Yeah, yeah. And, and so we're moving towards that because it's all happening. But it's now happening. Now the sixth sun is more important than the fifth. I see, I see. So let's talk about dreaming and the practices and 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 maybe even show some or talk about actually how to do a dreaming practice. Like you just gave a course in New York and you hopefully you'll be back to give more. Yeah. So what's the, like, so what's the basic, the whole idea of a dreaming practice is to become lucid in the dream, to be. No. That's not the practice. That's not yeah, the idea. Okay, yeah. No, tell me. No, no, no. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it's not only become lucid because there are a lot of uh, like I told you I was in this in this conference about uh, in London mm. the, uh, it was really nice in the Royal Geographical Society that they chose like that people that were representing different dreaming traditions in the world mm -hmm. uh, from psychiatrists to yoga of the dreams mm -hmm. and all those things almost everyone said that you should become lucid feel and allow the dream happen for us, it's not like that. For the Nawals. Yeah, uh, like Nawalism, you try to control the dream. Control. For example, yeah, we have like these codexes that uh, if you go down in the dream, if you are falling down, jumping in the water, whatever, going down in the stairs, you are going down to the underworlds. Mm -hmm. So when you are lucid there and you see that you are going down, you stop that because you know that the going to the underworlds would be the go to the worst part of your unconscious. Ah. So that you will create that in your awake. So we stop that and we say, no, no, not, not down, up or whatever. We are controlling the dream. You're controlling the dream yeah, by, by doing some of those practices. That, yeah, but, uh, and for example, we do something that is named planting dreams. Ah. Planting dreams are certain like breathing techniques, like, like the one that I show you with the, the Chuck Moll, that we do before going to sleep, and we plant four dreams in how we would like to appear in the dream. So when you are falling asleep, you are repeating like, I'm a warrior of the dreams, I will be uh, conscious while dreaming, and I will find the dreams that I planted. So instead of just uh, entering in like in an unconscious dream, when you fall asleep, you are trying to find the dreams that you planted. So you imagine a dream you want to have. I want to dr have a dream of flying. Uh, and or, yeah, or, or but more specific, but it's tell not me how you plant a dream. For example, we have like in a, fir in a basic, basic, basic level, we use animals like Nawales. Like I said, if you want healing, you get the serpent. If you want love or to heal a depression or something like that, you use the hummingbird. Uh -huh. If you want money, you uh, you use the uh, the crocodile. crocodile. If you want like a psychological or underworld pattern of your ancestors healing, you use the jaguar. Uh -huh. That he goes to the underworlds. Uh, if you want something to die, not not someone, but if for example, if you have a tumor and you want that tumor to die, you use the black butterfly. So mm. you are planting like uh, with different archetypes. The how many different types are there? There are many, but animals are uh, these like the. If you want a prophetic dream, you can use also the hummingbird and the and the deer. Is there a book of all these uh, archetypes? I took it from the oral tradition. I'm doing one. Are you now, doing a book yeah, now on yeah, these? I'm, I'm, I'm of dreaming. Of dreaming ar these archetypes. I haven't read nothing like this uh, written. So you're the first to write this down. And so it's not just dreaming about the archetypes, it's being the archetype in the dream. Being the archetype is you. Ah. When your Nawal represents the archetype, so it creates the, the tonal. I, uh, we have had many testimonies of people that, for example, is sick in the night, and they found the dreaming of their healing, and, and they wake up completely healed. Wow. So what's happened to you? What's for me, I, I have never been sick, uh, like right. physically, but, but for example, I have done a lot of things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some uh, once uh, the we have a place that is in the mm -hmm. that it means the place of the strength in mm -hmm. the dream, where you go and you repair your nawal, and four jaguars come and lick you, and then then they repair the completely your nawal. Uh -huh. uh, for example, that is for recovering the strength and all those things, and. And then uh, also, if you recover the strength, you recover a lot of, uh, you have like uh, certain periods of rejuvenation. So in that time, I had like some gray hair. Uh -huh. And after having that dream, they colored really? again. Really? Yeah, What's yeah. that dream again? <laughs> 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 you want to color your hair. <laughs> no, but you dream, but tell me to me again, because I... Chica, because for us, there are many different rooms of dreaming. Uh -huh. in like in the map of the world of dreams. Mm -hmm. The common dreams happen in what we call the Mictlan, the place of the death. So when you dream about your past, people that you knew, uh, certain mm -hmm. things that you do, that psychology would call projections, you are in the Mictlan, in the, in the, in the, in the, um, in the world of the death. Because mm -hmm. for us, our past is death. Uh -huh. So you are there. And almost all the people is always there because it's the first room. 
And it's they, only the first room. It's only the first room because oh. if you know that there are other, other rooms, uh -huh. you can begin ordering your Nawal to go uh, to the other rooms. How many other rooms are there? Many. Because, I have because it's interesting. Them. I remember, you know, I have psychological dreams, but then I dream of different people. There was a woman who I knew very well who died. She came to the dream. That and would be in the in the in the Midland because you in the Midland you can go to your past or mm -hmm. these things or you can go to the land and of the ancestors and people that has passed away can meet you there. And she told me something. She was with a little child I couldn't see the but it was but yeah it felt like a different type of dream. So there uh, you are in different rooms. So how many different rooms are there? I don't know, but it's the mag I haven't counted. No, but, but it's the magto con manachkan. That means the plant, the place where you plant dreams. There is the kochitzinko. Kochitzinko means uh, the uh, the um, coach is sleeping, but it's a place where there are no dreams. That you only enter like in a darkness, and there are no dreams. Mm -hmm. And it is, it's like a paradox. But becoming becoming a master of dreams is not have is is when you are to able not, not, have to, not to not have a dream. Oh. Then mm. there is other the Chicago Miklayan where you repair your Nawal. Like I told you, there is other that is the Tlatlauj Kitemikli that is the, the place of the red dreams. The red dreams. I, when you enter in a place where uh, all the dreams happen like in red and mm. you begin seeing red and red, that takes you because um, when you are in the womb, uh -huh. all the light that entered through the skin of your mother was red. Because of the blood, yeah. Yeah, and, and the blood also. Mm. and you were dreaming of yourself. So if you're able to enter in a place where all the dreams are red, you're able to regenerate your body. Wow. And then have the jaguars lick you. That's <laughs> other place. That's other place. So you enter into that red field and then you regenerate. Interesting. It's amazing. The and power what of else? Dreaming. This is fascinating. I know I've never heard this, but it it somehow it makes sense to me that what you're saying. What else? Or the there is other like the, the place where the Nawal and the Tonal uh, separate, mm -hmm. and that that the Nawal can see the Tonal sleeping. Other uh -huh. things like it's like I experience out of the out, out, of, out body. of the body, uh -huh. but that's for us is other place of dreaming. Uh, it's another house of dreaming. I, is this in your new book? These yeah, all these things will come. And in this the is called the new book is called will be called the uh, the Nawalism, the power of dreaming. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. So to get aware or to be, you know, most people go to sleep, they don't remember anything, and boom, you know, they wasted all that um, information that the universe is giving them. In their yeah. So how can we use this then, these different, ha what to, how can we practice a simple technique? Okay, yeah, like I told you, but, but to, to try to be a dreamer, it starts not dreaming. It's like in the mirror to force your perception to see you okay, there. That's that would be the only the way, way to that, that, tonal, that the tonal cannot sleep and just allow the Nawal to see and you lose consciousness. You must force yourself to appear in the dream so mo someone must be watching. So your tonal must be watching. Then we do all these practices like, but for example, to do the, like the, the chakmol, yeah. you must be trained in the obsidian mirror before because you must be able to change your, your face in the mirror. Ah, you change your face. So you're awake, of course. And of course, yeah. And, and, and your, your nagual is pushing your tonal to shift its awareness. Yeah, yeah because if you begin breathing and then you're able to change your image in the mirror, you are in a half state of perception. You are like uh, what we call ensoñación, dreaming while awake. Ah. So, so when you see that, and then you fall, uh, you go out from your body to the dreaming state in that in that shape. You put what, uh, for example, the the correct language of, of elements in the, for example, for us, horizontal or flat waters are like emotional problems. But if you see rain in the dreams, it's good. So, for example, we plant. For example, if you want the purification of a uh, sickness, you will put your uh, snake with rain. And that's a purification. Yeah, or oh. or uh, we have a, a specific language oh, of dreaming of the four elements. Oh, the four elements. So if you dream of earth, earth, for example, for us, the dream of the earth are, are us because we are like earth, 
Uh, yeah, the, of the spirit of Tonans in the Mother Earth, mm -hmm. we are, the humans are, are her favorite uh, children. Mm -hmm. So uh, every time that we are f um, dreaming about violence, that we fight and all those things, we cancel those dreams because that's not fighting it really with the person. It would be fighting with the spirit of the earth. Uh -huh. For example, every time that we see flat waters in the, in, the, in the dream, we cancel that. Every time that we see clouds mm -hmm. and all those things, that would be against the spirit of the wind because the wind, his dream is to come and to take everything clean. Ah. So it's a very specific way of speaking like mm -hmm. that in the dreaming language. So in the workshops you teach, the first practice is to do the mirror practice? Uh, there are many different, because I teach a lot of things. What else do you teach? Uh, for example, what I taught here uh, Sunday, it was the, the tolly, really what, what the Toltec means. So to adjust to the measure of the cosmos through your breathings so that you can have a healing. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's Tell more me about that. How do you do that? Uh, for example, for us, the 13, like I told you, is the, um, the number of the sun. Mm -hmm. That because the rotation of the sun is 26 in, in 26 yeah. days. Eight is the number of, of Venus and the moon. It is based in the mathematic because if you see in the Aztec calendar, there are like the symbol of five balls all over, like a five of uh, the ones that you roll. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that is the mathematic of Venus and the Moon because e each cycle of Venus is f 590 days. So if you add five, it's that is 2,950 days. And if you split that in our year, that is uh, that gives you the number eight. That's why, for the tradition, we are supposed to sleep eight hours, and uh, we have eight dreams each night. We have eight dreams each night. Yeah. So, for us, how we do this technique is that you breathe in in 13. Uh, your healing, your change with the sun, and you breathe out in eight all the destructive forces of your cave. And so of you your count Nawal. to 13, and you breathe in, counting to 13, and you breathe out, counting to eight. Eight, yeah. Yes. And then we do that 13 times, and you have one movement. One type of, what kind of movement? Uh, for us, uh, like I told you, everything is based in, in four movement, but uh -huh. that would be one movement from one to 13, that is the measure of the sun, of change. Uh -huh. So. And then, uh, like I said, in the Toltec tradition, an original one, everything is mathematics. So you know that first is named Se, or s that comes from Senteotl. So in the first movement, you put like the intention that uh, what needs to be healed and what needs to be transformed. Then you do other movement. What do you say movement? You actually mean physical uh, movement? No, movement uh, would be the movement of the energy. But that would be the movement are a group of 13 breathings. Uh. Then you do a next movement that would be other 13 breathings. Uh. And uh, that would be take you to two. Two is comes from Ome, that is two in Nahuatl, that is Omitl, bones. So in the second movement, we ask the energy of the universe to come down like a serpent because the energy moves like that, mm -hmm. cleansing from our, our, bo our bones the history of our ancestors, the repetitive patterns. Wow. Then we do a third movement that J is three in Nahuatl that comes from justly the blood. So in that in that uh, in that movement we ask the energy of the earth to come and enter through our feet to uh, so out that our blood becomes a serpent, the serpent of healing. Ah. And then you begin going with the uh, with the serpent of healing to all the organs and to to digest. That's reawakening the power of the blood. Uh -huh. The healing from the inside that would wow. be very important in the in the um, mm -hmm. in the sixth zone, and then we do a last movement that will take you to to fifty two. Fifty two for us is the sacred uh, number because of the Pleiades and Orion. The Pleiades and Orion that's very important. They repeat the same position every fifty two years, oh. and that's when in Mexico it's, it's, it takes part the ceremony of the new fire. And the fire rules the dream. So when you are in 52, you you plant a dream. Ah. So after these 52 breaths, you plant a dream. So we breathe in one breath, count to 13, breathe out, in count eight. to eight. Uh, at, at least to have results, you should do this 52 days in a row. 
to adjust ah. you to the toll. If you see, everything is in measures of the cosmos. So we plan our exercise in numbers. In I do this 52 days in a row, and each time at the end of the yeah. fourth, I plant a dream. I plant a dream. The that same dream or a different dream? Uh, if you want this to, uh, to happen, the same dream. The same until dream. Until it happens. Okay. But That's when we good. know all these things, we, we, we know we have many codexes, uh, different dreams. But for a for start, it's a very good one. That, that's thank you so much for sharing that. That's simple and powerful and um, combines intention and the body and our connection to the universe. Yeah, the tolly, the, the measure. So what did the Toltecs and Nagos feel the whole purpose of this life and this dream reality is for? Uh, learn to die. The dreaming practice is because dreaming is dying. So the main purpose is to learn how to die. We but why were we ever born? Because we were experiencing. Because there are three, three, three ways how you can die. From the liver, you will ha we be in reincarnation. And you are giving all the circle of the glyphs of the calendar if you are born, for example, I am now a lizard, mm -hmm. and I don't flower like it's like enlightenment for the ancient tradition, I will be born the next life in serpent that is the next one, mm -hmm. and like that. How do you know you're a lizard? Because uh, in, the, in the measures of the calendar. It's, it's similar to the Mayan. So in the glyph that you are, the, this life, if you don't flower, you must le leave the next glyph, and then the next glyph, and like that, until you break the circle. You can break it uh, exiting while dying f from the chest, and you go the to heart. the heart. Uh, yeah, the chest. Well, chest. Yeah, it could be like like and then that. you go where? To the sun, and to you can melt into the light. Or if you exit through the crown, you would, uh, you can uh, choose to to be independent for all your life. Independent. To independent to be like an awal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in the Castaneda tradition, he talks about Don Juan saying you, he burned from a fire from within, that he didn't die, that the body became light, fire, essence. Well, I don't have that in the... In That's not uh, in your no, tradition. No, no, no. That this is for learning how to die, because okay. the Mictli now is dream, and is the one that died. So for us, like, dreaming is like a death. Mm. Dreaming. So... How did you know you were a lizard in this life? How did you know that was your Because sign? we have the table, uh, the papers that uh, that compare these our dates with the Aztec uh, dates, and then mm. you get astrologically. Yeah, you're astrologically, saying? like li uh, it's uh -huh. named Tonalamatl. That is your uh, study of who you are awake and who you are sleeping. It's very interesting because it's like the kind on only astrology that g gives you who you are in the Tonal and who you are in the Nawal. Oh, you have two different charts. No, Basically. it's the same one, but uh, but it but it gives oh, you who you are, how your Nawal behaves, and how your Tonal behaves, your challenges and your advantages. Uh -huh. So most astrology just gives you how your Tonal, yeah, your your, your pers day daytime personality, and there's yeah. a whole other side. Oh, that's interesting. Very, this this what we just talked about today and tasted is really the science of these ancient traditions, they understood consciousness, they understood their relationship to the heaven, they understood and the cosmos, yeah. and how to work with their body and how to work with their mind. It's, it's a complete system. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. How can people get in touch with you? Uh, my website is uh, sergiomagana.com or my Facebook, uh, Sergio Magana Oselocoyotl, that is my Nahuatl name. How do you spell that? Os, uh, Sergio, Sergio, Sergio Magana. Magana, I'll spell it out. Yeah. And then Oselokoyotl, that's my Facebook. Oselokoyotl. Oselokoyotl, that means Coyote Jaguar in Nahuatl. Coyote Jaguar? Yeah. That's like Coyote a snake? Co coyote. 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 Coyote Jaguar. Jaguar, yeah. That's coyote my, Jaguar. Yeah, that's my... And someone gave you that name, right? Yeah, uh, you cannot name however you want. From, from the calendar, you get eight influences. And then you choose two to get, to get a name. Wow. And then I, s I had my sewing of name by Charlotte, my teacher. Mm -hmm. It's so amazing this um, knowledge that you are reviving because I think it can help people integrate in this new time of the sixth sun. Yeah, yeah. Y I hope a lot of people look uh, in, in the ancient wisdom because a lot of answers are there. Yeah, beautiful. This is really, it's, you feel the change, don't you? When in in your now in your sleep or your yeah, in my sleep and in my awake and everywhere. What do you <laughs> notice? Oh, 
Because you are completely different. You are less destructive. You are... The whole planet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no. Now, in yeah. the whole planet, I see. If you, if you train yourself, you will get the advantages. But now I think that everything is accelerated. Mm. Like, like the tradition says, in these nine years, everyone will face or their personal cataclysms or their change. Mm. Because everything is, is, is speeding mm. up. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. meet the sixth sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Let's do some more shows. Of course. We'll do course some radio, will. too, and we'll... This is very interesting. I just want to know everything you know. <laughs> no, I do, because it's... I don't know. I'm just drawn to it. I think it's, it feels true. Oh, thank you. Yes. It's true. I, uh, I it it's works. my life. No, it works. And what you, may, what you talk about, the complexity of dreams, is so important to us to understand, because... We just say it's dream, but what you're saying is it's it's a whole cosmology of the dreaming universe. Yeah, it's like like be having a map for for the awakened, for the yeah, sleeping. It's a, a map. guide. It's a map, and the the teachings of these great te masters that came before are here to serve all humanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just the Toltecs. No, no, Toltec for yeah. everybody. Like like Hugo, my, my teacher says. To to accept that you are a Mexica is not a part. No, it's not a place. Is that you accept the importance of the moon and the dreaming in your life? Mexica means what? The place of the navel of the moon. But he says, if you become a Mexica, it's not that you are Mexican. If that you are of uh, an area, it it was it has a bigger meaning. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, you accept the effect of the moon and the, ex uh, the the effect of the dreams of your life, and that you are doing something with that? Ah. So it's not for the Me Mexicans. It's for the world. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you to you, Alan. This is Alan Steinfeld for New Realities. I, that was a very inspiring, uplifting talk with Sergio Mas Magaña. Magaña. Sergio. <laughs> I've just been talking to Sergio Magaña about the ancient Nahuatl Toltec knowledge and how we're here to work with these, these great tradition that is a legacy for all of humanity. So if you want to um, have more about that, I'll let you know when Sergio comes back to New York or around the country. You can reach me at newrealities.com. You can email me at a, the letter A, at newrealities.com. Thanks for watching tonight.